Okay, so I want you to lay down, place a bolster by your tailbone, and align your spine along the tailbone, spread the arms and the legs out, close your eyes. Very slowly and gently take five deep breaths. up towards the ceiling, cross the right arm over the left, walk the fingers into the shoulder blades, turn the head to the right, turn the head to the left, come back to the center, uncross, left hand over the right, turn the head to the right, turn to the left, come back to the center, Hands to the elbows, draw the elbows over to the right. Inhale, draw the elbows up. Exhale, over to the left. Keep going, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more time. And rotate around, big circle. And opposite direction. Bend the elbows 90 degrees. Rotate by taking the palms to the ground. Then bring the tops of the hands back. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. And bring the arms overhead. Create a triangle with your thumb and index finger. And then draw it back to cactus arms. Three more. Two more. And one more. Good. Now keep the cactus arms. Stay in butterfly. Soles of the feet together. And I see some comments, so I'm going to go walk over to the phone. So stay here for five breaths. Oh, hi, Linda. <laughs> All right, we were having some technical difficulties. I just wanted to make sure people were hearing me and were able to sign in. Uh, there, were, there was a double whammy today, perfect storm. Internet was out from the storm and issues with fifth degree signing in. All right, stay here, four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. One more deep breath. Bring the 
knees together, roll over to the side. Take this bolster away for now. Let's do the windshield wipers. Inhale, bring the knees up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, knees up. Exhale to the left, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Now keep your knees over to the left side, keep the shoulders on the mat. So only below the torso, you twist over to the left. So you should feel a stretch in the right quads, right hip, maybe the obliques. Carry this left heel over to the right thigh on the outside and draw the right knee down towards the mat. Switch sides now. Right heel to the outside of the left thigh. Draw the knee over to the right side. Good, come up. Forming up the hip joint, open and close the knee. So bring the knee to the mid sagittal. All right, which is right at the midline of the body, and then open the knee away from the body. Five, four, three, two, one. So this is all, it's restorative yoga, but I've added a twist to it. It's really mobility yoga. So for those who have arthritis, just getting things moving, lubricating the joints and bringing the synovial fluid alive recirculating and hopefully as you notice the morning stiffness starts to go away take your right palm onto the right thigh and open the knee out left hand over the head four breaths release take your four lift this left foot up flex left foot right hand between the thighs interlace both hands behind the left knee. Feel that hamstring stretch, perhaps the right hip. More breaths. And switch. Open and close. Five, four, three, two and one keep that left hand right on that left thigh open the knee out feel the stretch lift the right leg up figure four left hand between the thighs interlace both hands behind that right knee four breaths All right, release into an air butterfly. Take the soles of the feet together, grab your hands to the outer edges of the feet. Soles of the feet together, open the knees out and draw the heels towards the groin, towards the pubic bone. Open the knees out. Four breaths, try to keep that tailbone on the ground. Good, now release the feet to the ground for another butterfly without the bolster. It may feel different. You may start to flail your chest out and you may feel your arch back. So I want you to correct yourself and take that name up to the spine. That's automatically gonna shift and bring your knees closer together. But that's okay, you wanna have that lower back touching the ground and that literally engages the pelvic floor lifts your pelvic floor up, engages the core, and keeps your lower back safe. Excess curvature in that lower back creates the lower back pain, disc bulges, disc herniations. And oftentimes when we practice yoga, we are not self-aware that we are in the wrong position. And repetitive movements eventually lead to injuries from these repetitive movements good bring the knees together come up into happy baby 
bend the knees, open the knees out, palms of the hands on the soles of the feet, draw the knees towards the ground, not that it reaches, but as you press gently, you'll feel the stretch in the adductor muscles, inner thigh muscles. <clears throat> Three more breaths. Good. And you rock back and forth, left knee to right knee. Left knee to right knee. Keep going. Good. Tuck the knees together and into the chest. Create a rounded back. Chin to the chest, forehead to the knees. Good. Now bring the arms out, transverse. Draw the knees to the left, upper body to the right. Take your left palm to the outside of the right thigh. Draw that right shoulder to the ground. If you have neck issues, keep the head neutral. If not, you can turn your head to that right palm. But it's switch now. Draw the knees over to the right. Upper body twist to the left. Good. Slowly come back and rock and roll back and forth. Three, two, and one. Then cross your legs. Palms up or down, whatever feels comfortable for you today. Closing your eyes. Let's get settled into the mat. Feel your ischial tuberosity, your hip bones into the ground. Ground yourself. See yourself as a tall old oak tree. Send your roots down into the earth with your hip bones. And now like a string of pearls, imagine that string pulling you upwards towards the sky, creating space for the discs between the vertebrae along your vertebral column. So lengthen your neck and draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Slightly tuck the chin in and take five deep breaths, the deep yoga breaths, inflating the abdomen, expanding the chest, bringing it all the way up to the clavicle, hold at the top, and then big exhale for a count of six. Inhale for a count of six. Hold for three. Exhale for a count of six. I'm going to do a count of five cycles here at your own pace. Six, three, six, three breath. When you are ready, open your eyes, take a deep breath, raise the arms up over the head, exhale for that position, and let's set the intention for the remainder of this practice. You can say this affirmation out loud or you can say it quietly in your head. I release all negativity. I embrace peace and balance. I release all negativity. I embrace peace and balance. 
I release all negativity. I embrace peace and balance. Raise the arms overhead, three deep breaths. Two deep breaths. One more breath. Spread the arms out. Fingertips touching the mat. Chin to the chest. And take the arms up, inhale, palms together. Exhale, chin to the chest. Keep going, three more. Two more. One more. Rotate that left ear to the left shoulder. Draw the chin to the chest. Rotate the right ear to the right shoulder. Draw the chin to the chest. One more time, both sides. Head up to neutral. Turn the head to the left. Up to the center. Turn the head to the right. Up to the center. Hands onto the knees. Scoop, hollow, and round that back. And now when you're ready, raise the arms up. Lift, inhale deeply. Exhale, scoop, hollow, and round that back. Three more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round that back. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round that back. And one more time. Good, let's move into cap cap. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Rotate around, big circle. And opposite direction. And come back to the center. Walk the hands forward. Four breaths. And roll it up. Switch. Walk the hands forward. Four breaths. Walk the hands over to the right side. And over to the opposite side. Take that left arm over the head and lift both arms up. Exhale over to the opposite side. And let's flow with our breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale, over. Now reach over with your left hand, inhale, right hand up. Exhale, release and reach over, inhale, left hand up. And one more time, take this hand all the way over the head and down. Let's do a spinal twist here. Raise the arms up. Exhale, twist and stay here for 
four breaths, looking over that left shoulder. And raise the arms up. Twist, looking over this right shoulder. All right, let's flow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Come back to the center. Take four fingers in the front, thumb in the back. Rotate your shoulders. And let us rotate forwards now. And release. Draw the shoulders up. Exhale down. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Interlace your fingers. Elbows close to each other. Hands underneath the chin. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows down. Five, please. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch the arms overhead. Slide back and forth. Sway back and forth like a tree. Gently bring the palms together and bring the palms over facing up by your knees with your eyes closed. Focus again on that 6363 six, breath, a cycle of three. Now keep the elbows hugging the rib cage, palms facing forward. Keep that back nice and straight, shoulders down. Inhale to prep. Exhale, open the palms away from the midline. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Elbows bent 90 degrees. Twist over to your left. Come back to the center. Twist over to your right. This is more of a core exercise, engaging the core, keeping the spine straight, shoulders down. It's a postural exercise here, really focusing on aligning your vertebral column. If you see me from profile view, you can see how straight my back is, including the lower back. So my navel is to the spine, pulling the pelvic floor in and up. And I'm gently twisting. So inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. So it's all about the posture here. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, let's return now and uh, move away from uh, asana and go into our breath exercises. So we're going to move into alternate nostril breathing. So make a fist with your right hand, take the last two fingers out and thumb. Take the thumb to the right nostril. Inhale through the left for a count of six. Hold three, two, one. The last two fingers on the left. Exhale through the right for six. Inhale through the right for six. Hold three, two, one. One, thumb on the right, exhale through the left for six. All right, keep going at your own pace.
and hold three, two, one, big exhale. Now we're gonna do it with Jaya breathing. Um, you're probably not gonna hear me from this distance, but you want to constrict the back of your throat, the pharynx. And as you exhale, it sounds like ocean waves. And it's a very deep inhale, deep exhale. You could do the same six, three, six, three breath, but with the throat constricted so that you can hear that sound of the ocean as you exhale. It's just your breath um, through that constricted pharynx. And so that turns on the parasympathetic nervous system, very calming effect. Just a cycle of three, here we go. Inhale for six. Hold three, two, one. Now constrict a little bit the back of your throat and big exhale. Two more. One more. Go ahead and open your eyes. And let's move to the top for affirmations. And uh, emotional freedom technique is tapping through all the chakras using an affirmation. Say three times, I am peaceful, I am balanced. Use index finger, middle finger, here we go. I am peaceful. I am balanced. I am peaceful. I am balanced. Third eye. I am peaceful. I am balanced. I am peaceful. I am balanced. I am peaceful. I am balanced. Below the eyes. I am peaceful. I am balanced. I am peaceful. I am balanced. I am peaceful. I am balanced. Upper lip. I am peaceful. I am balanced. I am peaceful. I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. Chip. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. Throat. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. Heart chakra. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. Solar plexus, I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. Find your belly button, go two fingers below. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. Root, I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. I am peaceful, I am balanced. Good, tap it all out. Good, arms out, flex the toes. And here we go again, we're gonna do spinal twist. Again, focusing on your posture. So even though I'm teaching restorative yoga, the Pilates instructor in me is within my soul. So really focus on that alignment and engaging the core as you twist. So in yoga, it's really engaging the energy centers. It's all the same lingo, different lingo, same idea. Always engage that pelvic floor. Good. Raise the arms up and hinge forward, stretching the hamstrings, four breaths. And when you're ready, slowly come up. Then this right knee, take the sole of the right foot to the inner left thigh, keeping the hips squared, raise the arms up, hinge forward, and take your left hand behind the back. Four breaths. And gently come back into a butterfly, hinge forward, using your elbows, open the knees out, try to keep the back as straight as possible, four breaths. Two 
gently come up, straighten out this right knee, flex the foot, finding yourself on the other side, keeping this left knee bent, sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh, keeping the hips squared, raise the arms up, hinge forward. If you want, take your right hand behind the back. Slowly come up, create a diamond shape with the legs. We're gonna do turtle pose, take the hands underneath the ankles, fold forward. And gently come up. Find your bolster, open your legs into extended wide angle pose, and keep your knees facing the ceiling, toes facing the ceiling, toes flexed, feet flexed at the ankle. So you're gonna roll forward, keep the back straight, and then gently roll up. So it's all about mobility here. <clears throat> We're not holding the stretch, at the end we will. So we're going to repeat it three times. Here we go. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Two more times. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more time. And now stay down here for three breaths. And gently come up. Use the bolster as a prop. Take your left hand to the bolster, right hand up over the head, reach over to that left foot, four breaths. Gently come back, lift the other hand up, left hand up, hand over, four breaths. And gently return. Good. All right, bring the knees together. Come up onto the hands and knees for cat cow. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Hip rotations, big circle. Other direction. Puppy dog pose, hips stay up, armpits go down, chin to the back. Good, slide up. <clears throat> Center this left hand, right hand up, scoop it over to the left side, but not on the ground. Right hand up, over to the left side. Keep going one more time, and now drop the shoulder down. Left hand up, take the left hand behind the back. And if you want, you can straighten out that left knee and make it a good stretch in the Achilles tendon and you could move mobility exercise. So you're gonna lift the heel up and then draw the heel towards the ground. Feel the stretch in the Achilles tendon and the gastrocnemius, the calf muscles, gastrocnemius soleus. Good, come back, twist a little bit further and come out. Okay, other side, center the right hand, left hand up and over to the right side, but not on the ground. Three, two, one, and now drop that left shoulder down, right hand up, and bring that right hand behind the back, 
And again, straighten out the knee, all right? And then just kind of move that heel. Stretch the gastrocnemius muscle, the calves. And then you could stay here for three breaths. Good, bend both knees now, bring the knees back just a little bit further and release. Good, let's find your uh, bolster. Place your knees wide on the bolster. Come into a deep child's pose here, so forehead to the ground. And now bring the knees together, create an egg shape with your body, round your back, hands to the heels, chin to the chest, forehead to the knees. Good, rise up onto the knees, curl the toes under, stretching the plantar fascia of the arches of the feet. Come back, and if it's too much, just less of it. <laughs> You don't have to come all the way back like I am. So you can bring your hips all the way to the heels. Feel the stretch. You're gonna feel it also, dorsiflexion in the uh, first metatarsophalangeal joint, the big toe joint there. Now point your toes down, okay? Bring the knees together and we're gonna stretch the quads by taking the hands all the way back, tuck your tailbone under, and you should feel the stretch nicely in the quads. Good, come back, up onto the knees, curl the toes under again, and we're gonna do a low lunge. Right foot forward, tummy in, neutral spine, push the hips forward, bring the arms up. Try not to arch the back, but open only from the heart, the chest, tummy in, navel to the spine, engage the abs, bend the elbows 90 degrees, that'll stretch the pectoralis muscles. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor, maybe the hip joint on the right. Release, switch. Right knee, left foot forward, right knee on the bolster. Neutral, lower back. So take that navel to the spine. Curl that tailbone under. Push the hips forward. Lift from the rib cage and chest. Bend the elbows 90 degrees, four breaths. And release. Come into a frog, elbows on the ground. Use the bolster as a guide to stretch the inner thighs. Take the hands to the ground, bring the knees together, drop the right hip down. We're going to do a deep spinal twist here, sitting up. Bend this right knee, right foot over the left thigh, left elbow to the outside of the right knee, and twist. We're we'll going that right shoulder. Four breaths. Gently twist to the opposite side and release, switch. Left knee bends, left foot over the right thigh. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Lengthen and twist, look over that left shoulder, four breaths. Twist briefly to the opposite side. Good, use your abdominal muscles as we slowly work our way down to the mat. And when you're ready, go ahead and bend the knees. Feet are flat, parallel to each other. We're gonna do a shoulder bridge. So go ahead and lift the hips up, scoot the shoulders underneath you. If you need to support your back, take the hands to the lower back. 
four deep breaths here. And gently come down. Come into happy baby. Grab the hands to the soles of the feet and rock it out. Okay, when you're ready, place the bolster underneath your tailbone, right below that lower back, legs and arms up. And allow yourself to reverse the blood flow, giving the heart a rest, turning on that relaxation response. One or two minutes here. Feel free to wiggle your toes to increase the circulation, and increase that blood flow. Turn it into a stretch by pulling the legs towards you and stretch the hamstrings. Or you can turn it into the adductor stretch where you're stretching the inner thighs coming into a straddle. Whatever works for you. It's your practice, your day. All right, bring the legs down, arms overhead. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Feel the abdominal muscles stretching the hip flexors. Maybe the lower back since you're arching a little bit here. Tilt that pelvis forward. Good. All right. Now tuck the right knee into the chest. Keep the left knee straight. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. Three breaths. Switch. Three breaths. And release. Lift the pelvis up. One last twist. Lots of spinal twists today. Resetting the vertebral column. Draw the knees over to the left, upper body twist to the right. You are your own chiropractor here. Feel and adjust as needed. Twist to the opposite side. Right knees, oh, right and left knees over to the right side. Left shoulder gently press on the mat. With your right palm gently press the knees to the ground. If you have neck issues like I do, just keep the head neutral, it's fine purpose of this asana or yoga pose is creating mobility in the vertebral column and stretching all the muscles, the erector spinae, the, the latissimus dorsi, the trapezius. There's so many muscles in the back that are getting a big stretch right now. Good. All right, come back. Hands by the knees. Round your back one last time, chin to the chest, forehead to the knees. Good, and the remainder of your practice will be a batting meditation. So place the bolster behind the knees, stretch the legs and the arms out, perhaps an eye pillow with some lavender, whatever works for you. So let's get started. As you get settled into the mat, I want you to focus on progressive muscle relaxation. So we'll begin with our feet. But in point and flex those toes. Point and flex. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, let go of the feet. Let them relax into the ground. Now bring the awareness to the lower legs, knees, and thighs. 
Squeeze those muscles tight. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, relax the legs, knees, and thighs. Come to the hips and squeeze the glutes. Lift the hips up off the ground if you can. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Relax the hips into the ground. Take your breath now and bring it up into the abdomen and hold. Now open the mouth, big sigh, let it go. Now take your breath and bring it up into the chest and rib cage and hold. Big sigh, let it go. This time take the deepest breath, belly, chest, rib cage, collarbone, hold. Big sigh, let it go. Come to the hands. Lift the hands up, squeeze, make a tight fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers out. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the shoulders and lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the facial muscles. Squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth. Stick out the tongue. Release and let go. Let go of the lower jaw from the upper jaw. Relax the lips, the cheeks, the nose. Relax the eyes, the forehead, and the scalp. Scan the body from head to toe for any remaining pockets of tension. Breathe into that joint, space, or muscle. And on that exhale, let go of the tension. Breathing in, relaxation. Exhaling out, tension. Breathing in, positive energy. Exhaling out all negativity. And if mental chatter pops up, acknowledge it for what it is. Clear it out. slowly awaken to the peace within you. Your peaceful self is your soul. Guide your soul to a beautiful valley. See yourself there now. Smell the fresh air. This is no ordinary valley. This is a valley filled with sunflowers. The stems are as tall as you. And all the flowers in full bloom, bright yellow. Walk through this beautiful meadow in the valley. Admire the flowers, breathe the fresh air. Feel the cool breeze wash over the body. And as you come out of this beautiful space and into the valley of just lush green grass, Behind you are the sunflowers. Go ahead and lay down on the grass and allow Mother Earth to support you. Connect with the earth and sky above and feel the energy of the sun nourishing you. Feel the warmth from the feet to the ankles, to the lower legs, knees, and thighs, to the hips, sacrum, abdomen. Moving up, feel the energy of the sun warming the muscles of the back. From the lower to upper back, rib cage and chest, all muscles relax. Even the heart and lungs relax. And you embrace the sun's rays across the shoulders and arms, forearms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. Feel that warmth across the neck and face. And finally, the scalp. And as that heat is released from the body, you are left at peace. The body is relaxed, the breath is calm, 
The mind is clear, your soul uplifted. Stay in your sacred space. Enjoy the peace and serenity. When you are ready, turn over to the right or to the left side. I will read you a quote from Meditations for Miracles by Diane Ross. <clears throat> Fear only exists for you until you learn its lesson. The question is not, how do I get rid of the fear? The question is, what does fear want from me? Look at fear as a teacher and ask what it wants you to learn. All right, when you are ready, we're gonna do one minute of meditation as I always do since the start of this whole conflict. I will send prayers and energy healing to Ukraine. So I'm facing North and East. Okay, you could do whatever you want, prayer, mantra, affirmation, or simply counting the breaths for a minute for this meditation. Here we go at the sound, let's begin. Take a deep breath, raise the arms up. Exhale, prayer position. Thank yourselves for coming to the mat today, connecting body, mind, and soul. Each day is a gift granted, never promised. So use your day wisely. Don't waste it away. Use the gifts that you have. Offer yourself in service to humanity. Most of all, remember that your health is truly your greatest wealth. So continue to practice yoga, connecting your body, mind, and soul. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste, and I will see you again soon. Let me turn off Zoom and then Facebook.